I'm Jasmine Nelly, your Life and Business Catalyst and your Spending Strategist. And I am helping you slay, stack, spend, and splurge your way to wealth. And today, I wanted to jump on and tell you something. Do you know that there is a code that you need to crack? And are you cracking that code? So when it comes to wealth, I've been dealing with people up and down the pike in terms of ages, in terms of demographics, in terms of generations that they're within, Gen Z, Gen X, Gen Y, millennials, whatever you want to call them. And at the end of the day, I'm learning one simple thing. And that is that there is a code that has to be cracked when it comes to your wealth. Because you're either doing two things in this world. You're either building wealth or you're not building wealth. There is really no in between. You're either achieving something great or you're not achieving something great. So when it comes to cracking the code, I wanted to share something with you that came to me. So I'm going to share my screen really quick, really quickly so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. So on my screen, you will see a slide that says cracking the code. And on that, you have something on the left side that's green and it's a diagram that's green in a circular motion and something on the right it's uh, the same diagram but in a purple color so on the left i have a check mark this is the side we want to be on and on the right i have an x mark that's not the side that we want to be on so essentially there is a cracking of the code and there's a side you want to be on versus a side you don't want to be on so when it comes to the side you don't want to be on you don't want to be on the side that has code spelled out as C for being complacent, living in an atmosphere of chaos, or being controlled. Or the O stands for oppressed and overwhelmed. The D on this right side, that is actually the wrong side, stands for dormant and denial of some sort. And the E stands for easy and entertained. So you got the C, the O, the D, and the E all meaning something. And on this side, this is not where we want to be. We don't ever want to be complacent. We don't want to have atmospheres of chaos. And we certainly don't want to be controlled. We also don't want to be oppressed. And we don't want to be overwhelmed. Because when you're these two things together, it's not a recipe for greatness. Um, it's actually a recipe for making us small, minimizing us. In addition, for the deep, dormant and denial. When you're dormant, there's something in you that isn't activated for some reason. You're just laying dormant, kind of like a sleeping bear uh, that goes dormant for a season. But we don't ever want to be dormant for a season. Uh, but sometimes it does happen. But nonetheless, the hope is that we aren't dormant and we're not in denial about it either. And then the E in terms of easy and entertained. When it comes to this and coming up with this um, acronym for us, easy and entertained means we're just living life and it's just simple. Uh, we're entertained with things and those things just distract us. So this is a side we don't want to be on. Now let's move on to the left side, the green side. On that particular side, we have C that stands for challenge and change. When you're on this side and you're cracking the code of life, you want to be challenging the status quo. You want to be challenging that those limiting beliefs, those what ifs, those doubts that are limiting you from getting to where you need to go, which essentially is cracking the code. So, and you want change, you embrace change. The O in this particular example stands for observe opportunities open-mindedly and overflow with originality. Well, what does that mean? That means when you're on this side of the world, when you're cracking the code on the right side, there's opportunities everywhere. And in fact, those opportunities were the same ones when you were sitting on the right side, but you couldn't see them necessarily. And because you couldn't see them, you didn't know that they were there. But when you're cracking the code on this side, you will begin to see opportunities everywhere. And you need to be open-minded to receive them. You need to be um, overflowing with originality, meaning you are uniquely you. There is something in you that nobody else has. So since there's something in you nobody else has, you have to embrace that. And that's your originality. And you've got to be able to overflow with it. Gone are the days of trying to be like other people. Gone are the days of trying to keep up with the Joneses. Gone are the days with not knowing who you really are. That at the end of the day, you are someone great, you're someone mighty, and there is something so original in you that no one else can replicate it. And when it comes to your wealth journey, that is invaluable. The D on the left side stands for disciplined, decisive, and diligent. When it comes to cracking this code, um, 
it's not all about smarts. You don't have to be the smartest person in the room because that might not be your original characteristic. That might not be your competitive advantage and it doesn't have to be. You, as long as you're disciplined, decisive and diligent, that's golden. That's worth more than diamonds and rubies. And then E, the last part of this is the E, which stands for enhance, excel, and educate. So enhance means you make something better. Excel means you're just not average. You're just not exceeding. When I looked at the definition for exceeding, it said like meeting the expectation or uh, uh, proficiently learning something. Well, when you're cracking the code of life on this side for well, it's not about exceeding. It's about excelling beyond. And that's exactly what you can do and what you're aiming to do. And then when it comes to educate, education is such a pivotal, important facet of life. We should never stop educating ourselves. Books are the number one resources that we have at our fingertips that super smart people have written these inner thoughts, these inner workings, these literal codes that are written in their books that are waiting for you to pick them up and so you can read them. So you can crack the code. So when it comes to cracking the code, I wanted to, to give you this example because um, it came up while I was coming up with this concept for you all. So when we were younger, um, all of us probably played Mario Brothers at some point in time. And if you played Mario Brothers, you remember that there were levels, but not only were there levels in the game, there were actually worlds. So can you believe that? So the reason I tell you this is because when you are cracking the code of life, um, you will realize that there are levels to getting to worlds. And worlds meaning realms. So when you do particular work, you will hit a certain level slash realm. You'll begin to cross over, but you gotta crack the code first so that you can get over there. And the secret to cracking the code is what I just told you on the left side. And every time you get to a certain level where it's time to cross over to another world or another realm, as I call it, you're gonna have to utilize these same tips and tricks that I just gave you to get on over to it. So driving my point with Mario Brothers, uh, further, I just wanted to share my screen just in case people didn't know what I'm talking about. If you see on my screen, you see this little uh, Picto box, and this is from an old Mario Brothers, and we know that there are various ones that came out. But nonetheless, it says Super Mario Brothers was divided into eight worlds, each of them containing four levels. So in this, Mario, or in the case of a second player, his brother Luigi, has to get to the end of the level by jumping over various gaps and avoiding the enemies on his way. So I'm here to tell you that your enemies, your enemies are these things on the right side. When we say cracking the code, you want to be on the left side because this is going to help you to accomplish getting to the next world and beating each level as you go. If you don't live on this side, it's going to be kind of hard for you to get to not only the next level, but also the next world or the next realm. So I hope this really resonates with you on today, and I hope you really get the concept of cracking the code. So my name is Jazza Naylor, your life and business catalyst and your spending strategist. And this is just a moment brought to you uh, with some special information. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for listening and for watching.